Hello fellow Neats. So recently, I've been procrastinating. I haven't been getting any work done. And I've made a goal to post every day, except I definitely not gonna make that immediately. But I can at least get rid of the things that are slowing me down, like this script. See this script? It's gone. It was slowing me down anyways. Now, I know you guys want to draw in tutorials, so maybe I'll show you in a more natural way at least how to draw stuff in my everyday life. That to make it to make it or more interesting for you and me cuz honestly, I am losing my mind with scripting this stuff. Okay. Let's begin. So, the first thing I like to do is I start to like start to look around the house for inspiration. What do I draw? What do I want to draw? In the end, I think there's no good ideas or bad ideas. They're just ideas. Regardless of what you do, I think if it's your idea, it's a good idea. Therefore, you should do it. So I found this pumpkin around my house that I carved during Halloween. It looks kind of sad though. Maybe another thing is this fish. How about this fish? I can be a fish. Or I can draw the most powerful person I know, Pikachu. Pikachu! Or this weirdly, weirdly attractive plant here. I don't know why. So I have this weird elephant here. He's made out of the Lego Mindstorms EV3. I thought he looked really cool, so maybe I could try drawing him. See how that goes. So I got my elephant friend here. I got a second camera set up so that you can see what I'm actually doing. And I got a sketchbook. This is a sketchbook from Mujirushi and it didn't cost very much. It's not actually meant for sketching in particular, but I just found it to accept ink pretty well. So I just use it and it works. And it was cheap, so it's a win-win. Um, the next thing I have is my favorite fine liner pen is the Copic Multi-Liner multi 0.35 millimeter, I think. So now let's begin. So this elephant is gonna be a bit difficult to get all the details with here and here and such. There's just so many parts, so I'm gonna to have to probably simplify it in the drawing. I'm just gonna need to think of the main shapes that I have for this uh, elephant here, like this, the hump or the legs or the trunk as like main features. And with that, maybe I can get something cohesive going. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna go with whatever because it works. So I'm gonna move to a new page here in my sketchbook. Can't forget to put the date. Today is, uh, what day is it today? Wait, I don't know what day it is. <laughs> I need to check what day it is. So today is Remembrance Day. Don't forget to pay your respects to uh, people who served in the military. It is Remembrance Day today, so I will write the date as 2023 and 11 and 11. There we go. Now to start off my drawing, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get the general shape or the outline of this. It's going to be a bit like uh, boxy or vox, like voxel like. It's not gonna be smooth to put it in short. So that way at least I can get like an outline for it and maybe I can fill in the insides a bit better. 
So I'm gonna put it at like this angle or something so that from my perspective, you'll, you'll start to see what comes from it. So I'm gonna start with the outline here. It's not gonna be a very smooth outline because inherently, because the elephant is elect uh, made of a bunch of pieces, it's not gonna make a very nice, smooth silhouette. It doesn't need to be perfect. You just, just needs to be done. That's what I say. I'm just kind of keeping in mind a little bit of all the small little pieces sort of, and then just sort of generalizing their shapes and just getting the silhouettes down. And that seems to work for me at least. I think it's sometimes when you maybe open your mind to the to the great bigger picture before you can get the smaller details. You get a more accurate, you know, idea of like things, not just like, um, like drawings, but also just like in general, it's a good thing to know how to generalize ideas. Cause in the end it's like, you might not really know what's going on, but at least you can try to understand and to some extent and maybe eventually you get a better understanding of what is the actual like cause of stuff and nobody can actually know for themselves like immediately like i don't know every single part to this and that's fine i don't know how like i don't know how uh, the engines exactly works i think they're just magnets or something something pretty magic like that but um important thing is I know how to use them at least and that's that's all that really matters to me that's fine nobody not everybody needs to know everything not everything needs to be perfect I started to get I'm starting to get the hump here for the the back I got the head down I got a little bit of hump the proportions aren't quite perfect but that's, that's fine. I don't really, they don't need to be perfect. They just need to be good enough. There's no, it's no use being too perfectionist about just even daily sketch. I think the most important thing is just to be consistent. That's what I think. If you really want to get anywhere with your artwork, you need to be as consistent as possible. That way you're always improving a little bit. I think I made the... <laughs> I think they made the body way bigger than the head, but that's fine. This is getting uh, to be kind of a challenge for me, actually. It's getting all the intricate parts and also thinking about the proportions at the same time is pretty difficult, more difficult than I thought it would be, but that's just part of the challenge and that's what makes it more fun in the end, I think. Then I can start drawing some gears here. So these two legs, they kind of work on a cool mechanism. There's a gear system in the middle and the gear system, uh, pushes and pulls on a bunch of these um, sticks here and when they do that it actually makes it like walk and that's pretty cool I think I know me as a kid I, I thought it was just the coolest thing that kind of stuff yeah it's, it's pretty interesting how all these crazy designs here it can make such a complicated beast and compared to the stuff we have like technologically this isn't even this doesn't even scratch the surface but still pretty cool especially for a kid like when I was a kid I thought this was the coolest thing my lines aren't exactly the the smoothest this time around, but I think that's doesn't really matter. 
now that I got the outline here, I got the silhouette down, I can start drawing a bit more details in the artwork. And you'll start to see it come to life once you got the details, or at least a smaller, in more intricate bit. You'll start to see that it, as long as you get the idea down and don't focus too much on the details, usually the eye sort of is able to fill in the blanks. And uh, it's like it, it almost does the work for you. You can see here, I'm gonna get some of the pegs down. Got the circles where the pegs go. Now I'm starting to get the, the little plate here on the side of the the elephant. I think it adds like quite a bit of uh, shape to it. So I think it is a more important part of the drawing. I guess it's just a process. You kind of have to figure out for yourself which things are important to highlight and which parts are not as important, but that is all up to your own personal style of what kind of details you like to emphasize. Not everybody needs to emphasize the same things, but you know, I just like to emphasize like the larger shapes first and then work my way down or the most most important things, which I think is like pretty standard, but I know for certain art styles, they have some large shapes, but they they like to get the smaller or smaller more intricate shapes because it adds sort of like a a feeling that the thing is a lot more complex than it actually is it's like a spaghetti like it's almost like this a spaghetti look or something like i guess uh some of the frames in akira where the artist he likes to just add a lot of intricate like designs to make things look like they're just molding together or like spaghettiing and twisting together but they can look very very detailed th those kinds of artworks and it's more about like for those it's i think it's more about getting the illusion of detail more than actually getting proper detail because a lot of the time in the end you're just kind of just drawing a bunch of random things like maybe if i just try to do that here for example I just start adding a bunch of lines, maybe um, like in filling in these gaps or something. I'll probably start to get the illusion of detail here. Although my lines today aren't exactly the nicest in my opinion, but that's fine. I'll just start to draw lines here and see how they add up. How they, you can see they start to almost become like an illusion of that. I'm just drawing random lines, but for anybody else watching it, they're just gonna be like, this person's a genius. They know how to do so many intricate mechanical parts I don't know what what's going on. It's just it's just I, I'm just putting lines here and it's it's working. See, it's like it's almost like it's magic. It's magic. Now it seems so much more intricate and detailed than it actually is, and I didn't even do anything for it. It's that's just it's not all that like big of a deal. It's like I didn't even work for the detail. I just I just put in lines. That's all you need, and it just works. My throat is kind of raspy today, so uh, pardon my raspy voice, but it's just how it is today. I'm not, I haven't been feeling too great lately. I'm just getting over sickness, dealing with um, the daylight savings change. It does affect me more than I think it, I think it should, but I just draw some nice straight lines and circles and there we go the illusion of detail i don't even know what i'm doing it's just it just works draw some bubbles here my lines aren't the straightest today that's fine my hand dexterity today is maybe not the greatest but it doesn't it doesn't need to be i think and so now i'm going to try to just add some more holes here, adds a little bit of 
like depth, like it's a mechanical object. Just adding detail for the sake of details. It, it just works sometimes. It's nothing really too complicated. I've been trying to get more consistent with drawing, but sometimes you just don't have time for it and that's normal. Not everybody has time to draw every day, especially nowadays how it's so difficult to make money with art. There's just so many people doing it. It makes it really difficult, but you know, it just makes you happy. That's a good reason to do it every day, I think. But also, it would be nice to make some money with it. Because, <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, it's how you're able to get so consistent. Is, it's, so, it's really easy to be consistent with something if you're forced to do it, I guess. How, like, for example, if you have a job. If I have a job and it's art, it's really easy to be consistent at drawing every day because I make money off of it and it affects my my well-being. I'm just adding some details here for the the armor plates, I guess I could call it. But I think like if you want to be really consistent in art, I think a great way to do that is just have a job or a, in the art industry or in some industry that requires your art skills. Because if you're forced to draw every day, then you all well, you, you're forced to draw every day so that you just automatically get better and better at it, right? Although I think the the other issue you might run into is that uh, eventually you learn that you're just you're drawing for someone else and not really yourself, and then maybe drawing can become a chore, which I know not everybody wants that. But just trying to make it a bit darker here. I'm not caring too much about like how clean it looks or anything. I'm just putting in lines to darken it. Because to be frank, sometimes it's best to not really care. <laughs> it's like when you, if you're forced to care too much about things, then it loses its value to yourself. And I think to other people too, too as well. It's not, I guess it's not real, if you know what I mean. Like, if you're, it, there's a difference between actually caring some about something and forcing to care, forcing yourself to care about something doesn't come off as so authentic when you're forced to do it, but if you're just doing it for because you want to do it, then it feels real at least, and that's part of the the human condition, I think. Just adding a bit of detail here to see where it goes. This isn't even like completely accurate to be honest, but it doesn't need to be. It just it's just a drawing. It doesn't need to be a mechanical masterpiece. It's just, I, I like drawing, I like new challenges, I like drawing new things, and that's that's just what's important to me. That's what makes it fun in the end, just trying new things, seeing how it works. And then the next day you do the same thing again. This isn't even completely accurate here, but it's just, I don't, I don't really care. Don't need to care. I guess YouTube's looking at my sketchbook right now, but normally nobody looks at my sketchbook, so... I don't usually need to think about it too much. But as you can see, the details are really starting to come out now. Sorry, I'm just kind of sick a little bit. Yeah, it's just being consistent with art is difficult sometimes. Like, I still struggle with it. I have this, sometimes I talk about, to myself about just, I'm gonna have this goal to draw this amount every day or draw at least once a day and then stuff happens the very next day and I'm like, oh, I already ruined my, my streak. I guess the one thing that makes it a little bit easier is just to be held accountable at least. That's what I found is that if you have a friend, if you tell your friends that you're going to draw every day and then your friends check in, in on you with that, if you have any friends, I don't have many. I have very few friends. If you have them check in on you with your goal, you don't want to let them down, so it makes it a little bit easier, I guess, to at least keep up with it. I guess it's it's just strength in numbers, right? People who are supportive of each other tend to just bring each other up more on their goals, their aspirations, whatnot. I've finished. This is the finished artwork for today for Remembrance Day 
2023, November 11th. I think some things I could have done better maybe was to be a little bit more, to draw a little bit more straight today because I'm a little bit tired, so I didn't draw the most straight lines at least. Um, maybe the proportions are a little bit off, but I still think overall it, it came out pretty good. It's pretty accurate or accurate feeling I think is more important to the actual thing, elephant here. And I got to use my favorite drawing techniques, which I think is just fun to do. It's just fun to draw lines, to shade stuff. Well, I got to draw for today. So that was my daily drawing. Hope you guys enjoyed and maybe use this as some motivation to do your daily artwork and I will see you sometime soon. Maybe maybe even tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to try to push out these videos more often to see how much I can do every day. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.